History was made at Indianapolis Motor Speedway. The NASCAR Xfinity Series for the first time ever running at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway road course alongside Steve Lutart, Rick Allen with you. And Steve, as far as a motorsports fan, what a day it was at this racetrack. A dream, American Motorsports. This has been discussed for decades. No one ever thought it could be pulled off, but today was the day, the holiday weekend. It was a motorsport holiday, IndyCar and NASCAR together at the famed Brickyard, and it did not disappoint. It started with the IndyCar, a nice clean start with those great looking IndyCars, the new windscreen. Unfortunately for Oliver Askew, a shortened day, a mistake in turn 14. Heavy contact into the outside wall. He would be fine. His race car, not so much. That opened the door for Scott Dixon. You see the move down the front stretch. Scott Dixon won a month ago at Texas. Backs it up with another win in 2020. He's two for two. 48 times in his career, he stood on the top of the podium. Once again today, the winner at Indianapolis. And then after the Indy cars, stock cars, never on the road course. The Xfinity Series, green flag. Pretty clean early, unfortunately, for the 19 of Brendan Jones. A mechanical issue leads to this big fireball. The 98 of Chase Briscoe had the race in hand. A big mistake. Loses the back of his race car, allowing A.J. Allmendinger and Cindric through. But Briscoe would not be denied. He gathers it back up and makes this run down the front stretch. A three-wide move that gets capped off into turn one. He takes over the point, but the battling continues behind him. The 16 of Allgaier, the 22 of Cindric, the two race favorites beat and bang, trying to see if they can make a run back at the leader. They were unable to. It was really a miracle that they kept these two cars straight with the tight racing we saw. What a great race on a great road course, but in the end, it was Chase Briscoe's day. The Indiana native wins at his home track, Indianapolis Motor Speedway, a few donuts, and then his hero, Tony Stewart, used to climb the fence. So that's what Chase Briscoe did, climbed the fence to celebrate his win. So, see, this is the first time that IndyCar and the Xfinity Series have been run on the same day on the same track. Do you think it was a success? An absolute success. The only disappointment, there were no fans there to experience it while they got to watch on TV. I can only imagine the excitement we would have seen to see both different series, IndyCar and NASCAR, in the same circuit with a hometown, a home state driver winning. It would have been crazy but a huge success. Hopefully, we'll see more in the future. Yeah, well, we're looking forward to tomorrow, the Brickyard 400 from Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Hey, motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.